very horrendous condition these uh, Brembo's are in at the minute, but as you can see, it is really not going to plan at the minute. <laughs> Holy moly, we done it. <laughs> these look good, boys. Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke and this is LBTV. And uh, quick one before we jump in today's video, I'm using a different camera now and I've got a better microphone. So I've got a Canon M50 I'm using and I've got a nice little uh, mic uh, by Moki, I think it is from. But um, yeah, tell me in the comments down below what do you reckon? Is the quality better? Is the mic quality better? Is everything, audio, all of it, all good stuff? Let me in the comment down below. But anyway, let's flip this round. We have got the clear air today indoors. What we're doing is it's going under a drastic change. It's having the wheels change to black and then the calipers are going yellow. And this is all part of basically my new wrap. That's, uh, well, the new change. I just gave it away, didn't I? Uh, the new change to what's being done to the car. Um, it's got to be done because it's going to match up with everything, all, all the other changes that are going on the car. It's going to look sick. Uh, but I wanted to do like a good you know, video on it, a proper long video. It's not going to be a full massive in-depth one because I, it will literally be about an hour long. But we're going to try our best to do, uh, pretty much get everything done that I can do it on, but it's just gonna look way better on black wheels with yellow calipers. We've got new Brembo stickers and everything, guys, so it's gonna look sick. Okay, so you probably wanna look, what are you using to uh, jack the vehicle up with? What are you using for tools wise and stuff like that? We'll get into that in a minute. But the guys from SGS engineering hooked me up with a, uh, with a trolley jack here. It's a two and a half ton, real low trolley jack. We've got some axle stands in there as well. So that's gonna be so sweet for jacking this car up, especially on lowered cars. Uh, most track cars have air jacks built in. You just whack them in the side like there or something, and it goes straight up, but I ain't got that far yet. Either way, we're gonna be using that today. If you wanna get involved, guys, and get this trolley jack set up, you can get about four axle stands and a jack, I believe, for just over 100 pounds, I think. It's maybe even less. I'll try and get a discount code up for you guys as well. If I can, I'll whack it in the description down below. But grab on, get onto these, this kit, guys. Honestly, serious bit of kit. You'll be able to see in a minute, it's so, so good. So let's get this unpacked, get the car jacked up, get these wheels off, and we start doing our thing. Right, so check it out. We've got it all set up, the SGS engineering jacking kit. Obviously you get two more axle stands, but with mine I only got two because um, they just sent that out. But check it out guys, honestly, massive. It um, all works as it should. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad there's any. But jacking up, super easy, super easy to install it all together. And then just let it down. It's not one of those jacks that just literally drops straight away. It slowly goes down, which is what you want as controllable. So check them out, guys. Description down below or in the comments below. Um, I'll leave a link to where you can grab all this stuff. But for now, let's crack on and get her jacked up. Good thing with uh, Reynolds, and um, make sure that's not tight. Get your jacket up, and um, you'll have the whole car going up. They're so close to each other as well. They don't really need to put them this close to each other. We're just going to quickly jack this up now, and then I'll whip the front wheel off. And once that wheel's off, we'll um, go ahead get an axle stand underneath on the wishbone or something like that, because there's not really anywhere else to put the axle stands along here. Um, I just see the whole car is lifted up now. Right, okay, so as you can see, guys, very horrendous condition these uh, Brembo's are in at the minute, but don't you worry about that. Give it some alcohol wipes on it, give it a good sanding down, get some fresh Brembo stickers on it, and she'll be sweet. Uh, the car's all fully jacked up now, as you can see. Uh, both wheels off. Um, the, uh, the, <laughs> the axle stands are a bit overkill for my car, although it would have been fine if they were on normal wax on the normal jack and points. Um, I've just got to put it underneath the wishbone so it's like a lot lower. But don't get me wrong, these things are absolutely Incredible. Overall, apart from that, really, guys, we've just got to now get from standing up. I've got all the bits down here. We're just going to check it all out and uh, get it unboxed and then um, see what happens. So, overall, we ended up with four different size stickers. I think it quite possibly could be that one, which I think it is by the looks of it. Although, this seems to be a little bit wider for some reason, some strange reason, and they all seem to be like it as well. Maybe we could put the bigger ones on. I don't know. I think I think stick to the normal size, which is which is this size. 
Okay guys, so I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update because it's been a while since I picked up the camera actually. Um, as you can see here, we've got a little bit of a mad DIY spec spree booth going on. I've pretty much taped up the bits I need to tape up. Uh, took the, I've took the pins out for the, uh, the holder calipers in. Don't worry about spraying if you get a bit on the pads or anything like that. You just want to make, work on your main aspect which is in the main part of this is the caliper itself. Just mask up. Um, and bag up everything. I found some bags somewhere, so I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to start um, putting on the etch self etching primer. So self etching primer is pretty much sticks to this uh, caliper. It's going to stick to the caliper, and it's going to act as like um, sort of like sandpaper when you spray down the actual gloss colour or the colour you're going to be applying. Because you got to remember, um, it's going to basically the self. I'm not, I'm not like a paint. I'm not pro at painting, but I'm, I've been told apparently it's like when you spray down the actual colour on top of the primer or the self etching primer. It sticks properly. So we're gonna head start putting down some coats of primer and uh, see how it goes, guys. Okay, guys, so I have sanded it up a bit with um, some sandpaper. I think the grit we used was, whoa, was it 2000 grit? Yeah, 2000 grit. Don't need to go crazy, um, but this is the actual, you know, etch primer. We've got professional spray paint, u pole, uh, pretty good stuff. So hopefully, it should do the job. Lovely. I won't go too crazy for the first coat, but. and make sure you get a nice even coverage everywhere. So I want to quickly go over this now guys, finish this up and then once the primer's all on and settled, probably do two coats of it, just to make sure it's nice and glossy and filled up and looking good and I'll come back to you guys. Woo, boys, it is, uh, I'm, I'm getting slack on the camera, you know, I've done both sides now. So both sides, as you can see, all done up, ready to rock. Uh, I've only got one coat of primer on this one so far. I uh, know three coats, I believe. So that one will be ready for paint quite soon. Um, as you see, we've gone for yellow. So gloss yellow from Auto. Probably won't even focus with it. Is it going to focus? No, it doesn't want to focus. So it's all extreme uh, gloss yellow paint. This is looking awesome. I'm extremely happy with this. So um, yeah, apart from that, guys, can't wait. Just get all those bits done and we'll start painting the yellow one. It'll be good. I think we should actually go get the wheels prepped. Yes, we'll go take the wheels in and get the wheels prepped first. All right, boys. So I'll bring you the spray booth. <laughs> so we've got the uh, we've got the primer here, which we're going to use. Get you boys a, a first hands-on view of me just quickly going over it. So I don't want to do like a full in-depth review, like install. Well, install with, like a tutorial because that's not what I'm up to. But really like them, Nick. Guys, I'm trying to film and do it at the same time. So I'm going to go each wheel. Um, basically what I've done is, the way I like to do things first, is just full sanded. Um, although you don't really have to sand with etch primer anyway, but I do. Um, and then I'm just going to go with some light coats and then leave the primer overnight and then we'll do the gloss tomorrow. Although I need to get this tire this, uh, repaired, so I don't really know what to do because I don't want them taking the wheel off because it's going to be fresh paint. I'm just going to do my head in. But guys, I'll catch up with you in a bit once we've got some of the wheels done with some primer. You know, let's keep you up there as we go along. Well, lads, here we go. So, ready to rock. Got some all extreme yellow paint. Let's, see, let's get the serious stuff on the go. I can't wait to get this on. I've already shaken it for a fair bit, but add some sort of safety catch on it, so. I don't know how it's gonna look. It's probably gonna look quite a dark yellow. Obviously, to start with, go for like a nice, light coat because otherwise you just get so much overspray well not overspray but you just get so much um you'll just get so much on there it'll just start running so i'm gonna quickly do this one do the other side and we'll come back in a bit and show you guys what it's like Yo guys, so quick update. As you can see, it is really not going to plan at the minute. <laughs> um, it's just one of them, it's a nightmare. <laughs> this side isn't doing too bad. It's taken to it a bit better. But I think the whole uh, dark primer was probably not the best of ideas. But yeah, I don't really know what to think of this so far. It's got run central on that one there. So I don't know how, how, how on earth that's going to fix itself. But yeah, I'll, um, I'll just keep you guys updated as we go along, really. 
don't don't take this as a tutorial please <laughs> right guys so quick update for you all um just basically what i'll do is i'll show you quickly actually if we go into into here it's a bit uh messy at the minute but the wheels that i've got uh the three of them are primed up as you can see looking sweet the primer's looking lovely settling down lovely as well and then basically now let me get out of it because it stinks i'm getting high as a kite basically now i've got a wheel over there the punched one i'm taking it to a garage tomorrow and they're going to repair that we'll come back put some primer on be good to go i think what i'm going to do as well because the calipers are not turning out too good on this i want to get some more yellow paint from halfords i might get different pipe primer as well but um i'm not i'm not really taken to the look of this yellow either it's not really coming out you know how i want it to come out i mean this one's not too bad it's the other side it's just gone absolutely a well i don't even know what the hell's going on with this one but yeah it's a mess so i think we'll just uh, start with that one again tomorrow guys we'll come back in the morning Nice and fresh and refreshed and ready to go again. So, catch a view in the morning, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, good. Uh, I guess the next day, guys. So, we're back in now. What I've decided to do is go for a little shopping trip at Halfords. We've got the tyre repaired finally. It took so long, way longer than it needs to be. We went down to Halfords and got ourselves some extra goodies. So, we've got some more yellow paint. Uh, it's a different kind of yellow paint, it's a bit of a darker one. And we've gone and got some filler primer, but I think it's on the other side. So we've already put down a coat of filler primer. It's looking awesome already. It's going down real nice and it should help when I'm spraying the yellow on as well. Although I've got white primer as well, because it'll probably be a really nice, you know, easy colour to put yellow on. But we've done both sides. If you remember yesterday, this side was absolutely shot. I mean, you can still see there's a few cracks and everything in it. So um, I'm just going to let that dry. And then once that's dried, I'll uh, basically go ahead, do another layer of primer, and we can crack on the wheels as well. So wheels are the main thing, you need to get the wheels done, definitely. So guys, let's uh, give you a bit of an update. This one has got a tiny bit better. I mean, nah, not really, it's, it's, still, it's still rubbish. So that one's uh, pretty much had it, it's not doing too good. This one on the other hand, we're moving on to the actual yellow paint, and it's coming out really nicely. So I'm quite happy with that one. So I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, we've got all the backs all masked up, ready to rock. And if we head over here to the room in which we're painting the wheels, it's actually looking, it's actually going really well. I'm happy with this one, this one's really good. One wheel's just finished up with primer. It's this one here, and then the rest of them are going black. And they've come out really nice, guys. As you can see. Got a few more coats of black to go on each one, but apart from that, we're doing sweet. This car's gonna look so good and so different. The transformation's gonna be absolutely unreal. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna catch you guys again in a minute. Here we go then. So it's been a little bit of a while again. We're, uh, we're doing some proper progress now, guys. Front and rear. This one's come out absolutely lovely. I'm real happy with this one. Whereas this one over here is still a bit iffy. Um, but I've gone on to her, I've gone to putting down the yellow anyway. It's gonna it's gonna be awful. This one's gonna be real bad. But I'm gonna get all the colours done in the future anyway. I just wanted to see how it looks now. Um, that's just got its filler primer on at the minute. Hasn't got any of the yellow coat on yet. But heading on to the wheels, we're doing real good bits of the wheels. I think the wheels are just gonna be the best bit of the whole thing. It doesn't really matter, does it? Like the wheels are still gonna look good, but yeah, like I said, overall, all the wheels are looking absolutely incredible. Got no runs, no problems with them all whatsoever. Like if I zoom in, especially on two, like one over here, it's got like really good light on it. The detail, ah, oh, honestly, guys, so sick and so gas. Um, what we're trying to do as well is spray paint these center caps. So I'm gonna put them on. The thing is, I'm gonna be selling these wheels, um, so they're freshly painted, which um, you know. They're, they're, I've done a I'm gonna say I've done a pretty decent job I reckon with these, but freshly painted wheels because I'm getting new wheels. Not tell you what they are yet, but they're coming the end of October. But for now, I'm gonna have these. But we've got a few more coats of black to go, a few more coats of yellow to go. We'll get it all tidied up, and um, so here we go. So I'm just gonna keep you guys updated as we go along. What I've dyed is probably gonna put about I don't know probably about six to eight coats of black on this and get it all lacquered up, etc. It is now up as two. I want to get done really by about five six o'clock got a lot of things on tonight um but yeah I'm, I'm 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 confident i'm confident the only one i'm not confident about is that near side front caliper which doesn't really matter but hey ho see you guys in a sec so clear coat 
clear lacquer. My favourite time of the whole process is clear lacquer and everything up and getting a bit of a gloss feel to them. Now, not gonna lie, I do actually really like them in the uh, in the matte black. Now they're all completely finished. Now I've even done the insides um, behind the behind the spokes and everything. So they're all looking real good. Now moving on is that we've got to do uh, the clear lacquer and get this on. It's gonna be sweet, can't wait to get it on. So I'm gonna quickly get them all lacquered up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after they are lacquered up. Lacquered, lacquered up and uh, yeah. Apart from that, should be pretty decent guys. So, see you in a sec. We are making some serious progress. Sorry, that was for the camera out again because it's looking awesome. <laughs> Look how good these wheels are coming out. The lacquer's on and they are looking so damn glossy and good. And the calipers are pretty done there as well. What I'm gonna do now is quickly go to the calipers because I wanna put the Brembo little stickers on because they look quite cool. So I'll head over there now. So yeah boys, what are we thinking? Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, get the stickers ready. I think it was the second smallest ones. Yeah, it was. So we're gonna go ahead and whack these on, see how good it looks. I'm probably gonna mess this up. I'm not gonna be too disheartened if I do, but um, yeah, let's see how it looks. So bang on the middle, I'm guessing like there. Is it? I might have messed it up, but not too fair. Actually, if we go down there a bit, and put them on like there. And then stick that down. Hopefully it doesn't rip off the yellow paint because I'm going to be serious as it it does. No, it's not. Oh, baby. Ha! Look at that. How sick is that? Oops. We can't even see that well, to be fair. Let's zoom us out a bit. Look at that. I think I am a little bit, yeah, I'm a fair little bit off. I think they're a bit too far to the left, but it doesn't matter. Either way, it looks 10 times better and cleaner. Look how sick that looks, that looks so good. What I'm gonna do now quickly, guys, is head over to the other side and then get the wheel, uh, get the tape taken off the wheels, get the wheels out here in a bit of sunlight and you can see it a bit more. But I'm so gassed, this is looking sweet so far. Holy moly, we done it. Oh, <laughs> these look good, boys. I am not gonna lie, Jesus. This is like the best part. I'm so happy of just these. Like, yeah, the calipers are cool, but these have come out absolutely stunning. Now, don't get me wrong, these are usually like satin or matte black, um, but I thought I'd go gloss, see what it looks like, and it looks really good. I'm really happy with the outcome. Um, but all that's left to do now, really, guys, is get them on the car with those stunning yellow calipers. The contrast against them is gonna be absolutely unreal. Get outside, get some cool cinematics and everything. Uh, and one thing I wanna discuss is I don't know if I should take off the white pinstripes now on the front. We'll get the wheels on, get it all done up, and see how it looks. But, guys, what do we think of that madness? Are we ready for the pure source to, uh, to happen? I can't believe it. Actually, to be fair, we'll get the car jacked up first. Good idea. Now, now we're talking. So, fresh caps on, fresh calipers. Oh, this is gonna look good. I've done all the other wheels already, so this is now literally the finale of uh, just dropping it down. Oh, I'm excited. It feels like it's taken like so long. That already. Over two days and finally drop it down. Damn! Obviously, it's got set a bit more yet, but that is looking naughty. I think you're all gonna agree in the comments down below. This is definitely a lot better looking now. Those yellow calipers, but Jesus Christ. Check it out. Yeah, definitely a big fan of that. What do you reckon guys? Let me know. Let's get it out in the sun, get some tire shine on it. Let's get it looking real nice. Oh, I'm shattered, but it's so worth it when you see something like this, isn't it? 
Okay, so we're all done and dusted and the car's there. I'm not gonna roll cinematics, guys, because I'm not being fun. I'm not gonna lie, I can't, I don't have the time to get into cinematics. I mean, I've got so many videos to bash out for you, but let's just look at the car. It looks sick, it looks, how can you not like that? Look at how naughty that looks now. With the black wheels, yellow calipers. These yellow calipers most definitely pop. 100% looks incredible. The car is looking sweet now. What's next, guys? Obviously, you know, we've got the wrap. Obviously, that's getting discussed in another video, but, oh, I'm in love with it. It looks so damn stunning. Guys, that is that. That is the Clio done and dusted with the calipers and the wheels. Let me know in your comments down below what you reckon. Um, I know a lot of you hate the white, and you said, Luke, you need to get the wheels changed ASAP. There we go, they're changed. <laughs> but um, overall, looking sweet. I've also taken off on the front, you'll be able to see now, we've taken off all the stickers. So it does look a bit you know, more aggressive and dark on the front, so that when you come around, it's black. So it just, it just, it just basically matches up a lot better in a way. Um, I think personally anyway, but yeah guys, I'm wrapping up today's video. If you have enjoyed it, slap the like button as always, and subscribe to the channel. Fuck, right, so let's do that again. Slap the like button as always, and subscribe to the channel if you're new guys. Uh, hit the bell button as well to be notified every single time I upload, because you know me, I'm bashing out these videos now. Ignore my crazy hair, because I had someone say, Luke, what's going on with your hair? It's a perm, but it's, I like it. But it's just, a lot of people talking about Luke, why have you done that? You look about 12 years old now, but <laughs> I don't care. It looks sweet. But anyway, guys, that's it. That is the Clio. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop a comment down below. And I'll see you all next one. Bye for now.